What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we are intercepting more Spanish forces um, in our territory now actually, as we own Bogota. So we're going to clear them out and make the territory safe. We have troops marching on New Mexico. I think they've only got... Uh, uh, Nicaragua left. Well, that's, that's their currently only territory that is not yet under our. We have we've not currently yet uh, implemented plans to attack that island. Well, not the island, that territory. So it's a wet Central American day. And we do want to move our lines up. So let's put four units in the center. Let's put a mixed brigade on each flank of line infantry and elites. Keep my cavalry on each flank as well. I'll keep some on each flank. General in the center. Because we are going to advance. Or at least attempt to. Realistically, I don't know how good the advance is going to actually be. Especially with this sound bug. All we can do is pick up both of our brigades. Get them into good positions for an attack. And to be honest, I may even... Because they've got mortars, just run my line infantry up. Get them into a position where they can just start opening up. This is the 31st. We've got some really quite elite foot guard units now. Accuracy 58, which is really good. They're so much more accurate and they reload much faster than my men. They're just so damn good. So let's compare them to my lowest rank unit, a level 3 infantry unit. <laughs> okay, so you guys want to march. You guys want to march like this, realistically. You guys want to march like this. Charge our lines up. Actually, you guys may even want to go. Oh, they've already fired, which is a bit of a bummer. Keep pushing up. Come on. There we go. It's got some native bowman auxiliary. Where's my cavalry? Now oh, they're already all the way back here. Let's run them up. So my line infantry are opening up. Again, we've got the sound bugs. That's a bit of a bummer. Unlimber the guns. Eh, don't worry. With no decent infantry support, they are done for. They're going to be. Th th oh, they're actually going to charge us. With colonial light. Okay, well if that's the case then let's just keep do something like this. Like why am I not? No, 
I've not done anything with that. Hey, it's back. I think it is just a bug. So my cavalry is going to sit back here, not engage. Too bad we're not hearing muskets thrash. We can hit them running. Let's see if we turn numlock off, we don't even hear that. Keep running. Keep running. Get my infantry around. Get you guys out of square, because it's a bit redundant now. Yeah, another enemy charge. These gunners unlimbered. Bring my general up. You see, the line infantry is actually advancing to go fight my cavalry. You have pikemen, but they're not doing very well. They're very poorly. Just push up. Like, come on. Really dead. <laughs> Tried fixing it, but I don't quite know why it's decided to do this. Ah, we've been attacked by their cavalry, eh? There we go, it's back! For... I've not done anything, it's just come back. These fellows don't even have bayonets! But yeah, right now the, the machine is whirring. Machine is wearing, just let them carry on doing what they're doing. These gunners, look at them. We've got to mount the cannons. No, you don't, dude. Don't worry about it. Pivot you dudes around. There we go, just keep killing them. Let's turn off our artillery fire because it's not doing any help. Pivot my elites around. get my guns to all engage the 10th. There you go, and it's speed up time, because everyone's... We are going to continue, because they're an enemy force raiding. So it's just speed up time. Let's just keep our cavalry engaged and keep annihilating them. Because obviously we don't want these guys coming back. You could help kill them. You're still fighting. Good stuff. Just keep all the cavalry engaged. 
Five men left. Decisive victory. Damn right. So that's a serious defeat. Forward. Forced upon them. Let's replenish here. Your You're going up to I secure the port. You're not going anywhere because I don't want to give this guy freedom of manoeuvre. I don't I don't want to march out and attack him. Because that'll leave this guy open to run around and hit Bogota. Um, let's upgrade the port. Roads being upgraded. Ah, oh, yes. So the Mughal Empire declared war on me. And they will pay for that. They will definitely pay. Especially once the... Uh, Fighting against the um, New Spain has been completed. So Theodore, let's go attack Santo Domingo. And just think, we'll have soon, after we've also fought the Cherokee, which we will do first before attacking the Mughals, we will have the resources of almost an entire continent to fight them. And also we can actually attack the Inuit because they've lost their... We've lost our allies in Russia and Persia, I think. Okay, let's get artillery on one flank, artillery in the centre. Let's make a bit of a ragtag formation. But I do want to... See, now we've got the Mughals against us. I want to... A, it's, it's uh, reinstilled an enthusiasm in me in this campaign. So I'm going to continue and fight the Mughals. But also, I would like to have the resources of a continent backing me. I accidentally stole one of your units, did I? Guns are a bit useless because of the terrain. But let's push them up anyway. Let's run the infantry up. Let's just have a look at them. 31st Regiment of Foot, Hessian Line, Armed Citizenry. African Musketeers, Slaveholders. So the first engagement is going to be on our right flank. So we're going to push up close so our volleys can do more damage. Damn, that's a lot of infantry. Oh, you're gonna, you are gonna suffer so much. My guys are ready. These are the damn grenadiers in front of you, son. Yeah, they're already wavering. So, part of what Fire by Rank does is that when every volley goes in, they suffer a large, a large uh, morale penalty. Throw our cuirassiers into the infantry. Got our light cavalry to intercept the general. Hey, mounted tribal auxiliary came round the flank. Keep pushing up. Don't ease off the pressure. 
So my cuirassiers will do a good job against their infantry because they're heavy cavalry. So compared to my light cavalry, melee attack 14, defense 20. Yeah, got a lot more defense. More attack and a lot more defense because they're supposed to be armored and so on. Some very precise fire going on here. Pivot. These men get my cavalry around the flank. God damn, they've they've yeah, they've they've broken. I mean, this mounted tribal auxiliary never stood a chance. My cavalry's better anyway. And when I sent my foot infantry in, it's a much melee fight, but that's exactly what my cuirassier is like. There we go. And they're just going to melt. Yeah, there they go. Just keep pushing. Colonial Light and Cursiers smash straight into the line infantry. These men, as they're close, form a line to carry on against the infantry mass. You guys come over here to reinforce, just on the off chance that my cavalry don't finish the job. My cuirassiers better go after them. My light cavalry. Oh, they can both go after them. Any general died instantly on the charge. There we go. A lovely, relentless charge. Oh, the snow is on again. And we've won the battle. Sweet. Heroic victory. God, Theodore, you've done so well. He's done really well. He's our most decorated general. So let's get rid of this church school. Send a cavalry unit ready to pick to boot their navy out of our port. So the best trade resources are tobacco. So we'll upgrade the tobacco farm. Sugar's nearly the worst. Coffee's not bad. Just keep upgrading. Let's make this ship. Let's make this port a trade port as well. And let's upgrade the roads. Sweet. Two fourth roads here. Triumph and Ariel. Go and knock out this galleon. Let's get back to port. And let us repair and let's make Triumph. Oh, I can't make them an Admiral because I have no money. Okie dokie. I think. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Attempt to send this guy to scout. The West Africa Trade Theatre. So let's recruit some militia because I like having this put these ports manage my trade relationships with the nodes because they're like they're the first port that I can get to to conduct repairs. Obviously, you need someone. You're going to recruit a sit fourth rate. Right? Can't recruit anything. Uh, next turn, no immediate technologies coming up. So let's hit end turn. As our infantry marches through Cherokee territory, which they will soon be attacking. Let's 
We've not been declared on by any European powers, but we do have, well, an, a growing Austria. Um, but we do at least have the Mughals to fight, so that's that will give us something to focus on. Because right now we're storming through the Americas and we didn't really have an enemy to fight. And that's kind of the reason why I started going, ooh, uh, should I end it, should I not? Um, that's mainly because I didn't really have a target. I didn't really have another enemy to build up and fight. And now, of course, I want to go fight the, the Indian factions. Or the Indian faction, I should say. And it's going to be a bloody engagement. They will want quicklime. So I better make a beeline to start... Uh, Unlocking that technology. Yep, you see the danger. <laughs> they finally realise I'm attacking. Um, yep, yeah, you just auto-resolve. Probably going to destroy the cottage, the, my university. And that's pretty much okay. Um, it was never a good position long term. Let's see if I can just demand their surrender. See, if I take it, I think I stop them from destroying it. I will do that. I just want to make sure I do... Well, I may as well fight it now, actually. Let's go take them out. While I might not want the university there, um, I don't want... I may, I, I may as well use it. Let's just say that. I may as well keep it alive. And this is a absolutely perfect battlefield. So let's group up our infantry on either flank. And just march. So my other ranks out here are a bit stretched out. So you guys do carcass shot. And start dropping them on. Some of their best units. One of them... Yeah, one of these can actually start bombarding the camel gunners. Well, it might be a bit late for that. Yep, they notice. They know the end is near. Let's drop the 71st into square as a precaution. So these are mostly pretty bad units. And the one, they, they're only, they're good units are um, depleted. I'll pick apart the horsemen. Stay where you are. When the rest of the army's broken. You don't have dervishes, but dervishes aren't very good when you've got advanced infantry. Especially in a frontal assault. Especially when the pathfinding is a bit funny and they're advancing away from us. They just better hope the 67th aren't ready. Oh, they are ready. Don't worry, the 6th Regiment of Militia, all you've got to do is hold. They will fall down like a stack of cards. my artillery to start. Just keep plinking at the general. Okay, what if we get you guys out of square? Let's get... We'll get one of them to bomb the horsemen with carcass shot. One to bomb. 
No point bombing the general, really. He's so close, we can engage him in musket fire. Pour fire into the backs of these men. Some dry horsemen have carcass shot him down, but it's too late. Militia, you just got to hold on. So this is the reason why my men are still firing in the combat is because I've not actually set them to engage. I think that's how it works. If we set them to melee attack, they'll just they will just use their guns as they'll use their guns as clubs. Again, now everyone's engaging the camel, the elephants. And they count as an infantry target, so fire by rank does work. And soon we will have an Indian prince as our general, as our um, prisoner. General watches from above the hill. There you go, my militia held on. Oh, they actually charged some of my infantry. Oh no, Dakili. Keep watching the general. There he goes, he's dead, he's back here. There he is. God, his staff is just annihilated. Good, my infantry came back. But the armed populace are fighting. And they had the misfortune to rout through one of my own units. Poor, poor souls. Let's end it there. So we have recaptured our city. And we have protected our university. Good stuff. You guys replenish. We're still going down the reorganized procurement route. You've stopped researching stuff, so I think I might just reallocate you to do machine tools. Or well, actually, probably one of these other ones would be better for that. Have I not built have I not got slash built a gunnery school? I need to reorganise procurement. How many is six for you. six turns for them? No, you may as well stick with this. And the next turn, I'll get one of the other universities to fight it, or to pick it up, I should say. So let's combine these armies. Set you just to go auto resolve this army. Let's fight against Adan Ortiz. We are triumphant. In position, your majesty. I never normally care about Yankton. They're so far away and they never get involved, so I'm not really bothered. I'll probably move this army up to here. Take a long time to get there. But they can start to threaten the, ter the Cher Cherokee territories from the west. How goes conversion of Annapolis? Slow and steady. Let's get my navy to Plymouth, pick up this third rate, and then that will be a another Wait battle fleet it. done. Although I do have two. Let's drop this guy. Ah, Louisburg. You stay embarked, to be honest. Let's get Mr. Belmont redeployed to I might get these ships redeployed down to the Caribbean. Let's deploy this ship. I've said the word deploy too many times. Get them over here. Build ship shape. 
pick up. Okay, let's make this one slightly heavier. There we go. Maybe just do two turns of recruiting there. And let's build up this fell into a craft workshop. Because you're already... I thought you were already being replenished. Yes, my lord. Flip a buff. Go engage them. Okay. Public servant dies. Ronald Danoville. One of my ministers. God, my monarch sucks. Oh god, the next one's even worse. <laughs> He's worse. Oh no, this guy's still one star. Which was I can't... I suppose it'd be a bit random, won't it? Thank god I've got good ministers. Well, sort of. Plus one army, plus one management, plus one nobility. See, this guy makes the nobility... Oh no, they cancel out. Okay, let's get you in the army then. Because you should be five stars. Good stuff. 29 grand. That's the recruitment. Zachary's army builds up. Whoops. No, I don't want territories, I want armies. Um, okay, let's hit N10. Sir. Ah. <laughs> we rule the way. Just destroy them. They are trapped. Ooh, do I just demand the surrender? I mean, that's not a. I'm. I'm not going to fight that. I'm just going to water that. Because well, I know it's their capital, and I don't really want to do that. But you know, that's not a. That's not a good force. That wasn't a force worth attacking. Mortars suck. And it was mortar suck, but there was mostly low quality infantry. So I'm not really bothered about it. So I don't know what Spain's doing back there fighting against the Ottomans. They've got bigger problems. Yes, you've got to do something against the Austrians. That's your entire problem right there. They could destroy you. In fact, they probably will. Don't worry. Whatever happens to Europe, we will fall upon them quickly. But really, I want to see any European superpower emerge. Because um, right now, it's all quite balanced. By the way it's looking, it will probably be Austria. If they can take Spain, then they'll definitely be powerful. And they may come towards us. Not that's really a problem a problem for us. I just want to deploy my ships in every theatre. Ha! Obviously the new Spaniards have come. So let's try flee. We may lose this stack and that's okay. There's only fifths. They lost eight. Okay, they're falling back to uh, <laughs> to Nicaragua. Obviously, they're going to raid. It is. It's how they do things. Well, the Georgians have taken up our spot. Good traits gained. Hey, my. Leader, plus two management to treasury, minus four percent bonus. What? So he's a control. Oh, right, okay. So that makes my tax income worse. Yes. Okay, you go hit, miss, hit this straggle, straggling force. Forward. If I take everyone sans artillery, I can chase you down. It's them destroyed before they can raid ports. So you head back to Panama. Same with you. 
Okay, two new tech advances, and we've got a rake. Just infiltrate there. Uh, so what fleet do these Murgos have here? Pretty similar to mine. So let's get you guys over to East Africa to replace the one that was destroyed. This fleet is first, going to engage the Georgians, who are just opportunists. You guys go over there and destroy these new Spaniards. So this is what I like to do, or what I, this is what I prefer to do. Um, I want to take okay this fifth, go down to the Caribbean. This full stack elite navy, they take position in the East Africa Trade Theatre. When they're over there. I'll bring my weakened fleet back. There we go. Let's make it was Triumph we were going to promote, but I can't promote them because I run out of money. Let's agree the tobacco plantation. Get you guys inside, and what can we repair for 71 cash? And do they have a university? I think they do, because I saw their... Well, I saw the gentleman run, but it doesn't necessarily mean they have one. No, they don't. <laughs> Radio, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the final destruction of New Spain. So cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching.